It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined by Dr. Glenn Mia. He is a pediatrician in the Claremont area. Sir, a lot of concern about measles and this purported comeback of measles in Southern California and now throughout the nation. What happened? Measles has come back because there's been a break in herd immunity. Explain herd immunity. Herd immunity means that you have enough people who are well vaccinated to protect those who are vulnerable who are not vaccinated. And this break in herd immunity has come about because too many families have opted out of having the MMR vaccine. This happened in France, this happened in England. We need to follow their examples and learn from that. Parents need to know that when they vaccinate their child, they're not only protecting their child, but they're protecting the community. The, the we're, herd. We're providing, <laughs> yes, we're the providing herd. immunity to the community. So if one is at a school, yes. at what level have you reached that herd immunity? At this point, most children are immunized. Right. And if you're over 95% or close to 99%, you're pretty much, you're going to have herd immunity. So I live on the west side of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And in one of my daughter's schools, in the school of one of my daughters, I should say, they're at 89%. We got an email about that. Is that enough for herd immunity? We have to look at more than just the numbers. We okay. have to look at the ages too. Oh, interesting. The people who are most vulnerable are those between age four months and 11 months. They've lost their maternal protection of antibodies right. against measles. They haven't received the MMR vaccine yet at 12 months. There's been an outbreak in Illinois at daycare centers. Right. So the children who are not immunized at all or who are in that spot where right. they have no antibodies, uh, they should be careful when going to daycare centers. They should be careful about going out to crowded places. Measles is extremely, extremely contagious. I've heard that, yes. It's spread through droplets, through sneezing, and through coughing. This virus could be in, on countertops and last for two hours, being wow. viable. Right. Uh, a person who is infected can be contagious four days before actually having any symptoms. What we hear from parents who are opposed to the vaccines is their fear their child will come down with autism. What do you know as a medical professional in terms of a link or, okay. or lack of link between autism and vaccines? Brad, I have a number of families with loving parents who are gripped by fear right. and also misinformation. Mm. I have three facts about this Please. controversy. The first one is the 1998 study that first purported a link between measles and autism has right. been retracted. And since that time, numerous studies around the world have looked at over 14 million children and found no credible link between, between vaccination, measles, vaccinations and, and autism. Right. The next thing is the vaccine is very, very effective. In 2000, the CDC mm -hmm. said that measles originating mm -hmm. from the United States was eliminated. And finally, mm -hmm. the vaccine has side effects like many things, but these side effects happen less than 1% of the right. time and the side effects such as fever or rash are much less severe than having the actual disease itself. Do we know where, how this recent outbreak occurred? I think it's been tracked to that theme park in Anaheim, but do we know from where it came? Most likely it came from outside of the United States. There are still measles cases within, mm -hmm. the, within the United States, and there were right after two, the year 2000, mm -hmm. but endemic areas throughout the globe still have the measles vaccine. There are travelers who come back, and then we have that vulnerable group that right. is not and if protected you by herd immunity. Think about and then they get it. Disneyland. I mean, international attraction. Exactly. So I can see how that would happen. Have you seen any cases yet, sir? We've had some scare cases okay. in our area, but I know there have been other cases in surrounding right. counties. But we're all on the lookout. We're all right. being very, very, very vigilant. Okay. I want to thank you so much for providing us with this valuable information and for taking care of so many children in the Claremont area. I know you're kind of the it doctor for kids in Claremont. His name is Dr. Glenn Mia. My name is Brad Pomerantz. It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.